being carried away in a green dumpster from Tucson to Tucson in little fractured sticks. And I went, I spend a lot of time polishing this wood and restoring it. And uh, I just couldn't do it. I just put conscience in it. I just, saving the forest and destroying it doesn't make any sense. So here I am again. <laughs> And the last hour, I'm supposed to have all this done by tomorrow. So if you signed today, when did they give you to move out? So uh, we got seven days. You got seven days after you sign? Yeah. If you don't sign today, what, what happens? Then they evict me tomorrow. Is that what they said? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they got the eviction papers ready. They have mixed paper already on the 4th of July. Oh, really? Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> well, I wondered what we, I was thinking about that. Just thinking yeah, about that. Yeah, you know what? Nothing would have happened tomorrow, but I just am not healthy enough right now to fight it out. And uh, I did everything I could. And they feel they, <clears throat> they are compensating me fairly because they're compensating everybody equally and everybody else has found another place uh, in this re relocation effort, except for me. And so we feel uh, $50 a square foot is above current Bisbee, greater Bisbee real estate value and that that's a fair price. And since they offered uh, everybody equally another 35000 a seven thousand dollar relocation. Yeah, that's totally fair, and I can see how it would be fair if I didn't do anything to my house. And I would have totally overvalued my house, but to be compared to people who never did anything to the house, that doesn't make it fair. And also, fifty dollars a square foot, even for a shack in Bisbee, is not above local real estate value. So I was trying to get them to. Uh, include a copy of this report in my contract and uh, you should see the emails about it back and forth okay. because they did put in there that we disagree about the value of, of my house. So have you agreed on this final um, contract that we're picking up yeah. right now? Yeah, I agreed on it. Okay. I, I agreed to it. As soon as I sign, I haven't signed yet. But, but you agreed to what we're supposedly picking up and you yeah. just did. And I also have them claiming that they own the Atlas. And they, I, I, I overlooked this. The, uh, there's an, at, an Atlas uh, load mine that doesn't show up in any paperwork. And that's what my house is on. But they're, in the agreement, they said they agree that they own the Atlas claim. And uh, so I guess she's coming up with it. Oh, all right. Okay. Hi, you've Hi, serviced to Were you going to come in? Yeah, yeah. I was going to come in. We're going to come in. Gonna come in. That's all the right. cooler's on in there. I thought I had to sign for these papers, but that's okay. Well, you can I'll come in and read them. them if you'd like. No, I'm not going to read them here. No. I think I better just sit down and take a deep breath and read them and go over them carefully. Okay. And then I'll bring them back. Okay, uh, Mike's still here if you had any questions okay. or concerns. All right, thank you. Okay. All okay. Right. You know, that's why I wanted to make a statement about it before I sign. Now I, want to, I just want to go on record saying that I'm signing this under duress because if I don't sign, I'm going to be evicted. And I was hoping that I could go to court for this eviction and hold up the process uh, because the uh, lease that I signed in 1993 is totally illegal in, in several different points. Uh, one especially where uh, in class three I'm si I signed away my uh, Arizona tenants' rights, and apparently you can do that. 
you can get people to sign away their rights, but you're supposed to compensate them. And of course, we never got compensated for signing away our rights. So, and then also in the same document, uh, in one of the 28 clauses in this document, several of them said that we have no rep uh, repercussion in regards to illness or injury to person and property due to mining related activities above ground, underground, in the air, noise, dust, and that's also illegal. And so, uh, and there were several other points in it I can't remember right now, but I was going to show that to the judge and saying, look, this is unreasonable, it is hurtful, it can't be, uh, it can't be abided by, you know, and uh, but unfortunately, the uh, judge who looks at the lease and signs the eviction notice does not make a judgment on whether the lease is legal or not. So I would have gone in there, if I didn't find that out, I would have gone in there found that out. And then in the meantime, I would be evicted. As soon as I leave here, they would smash down my house and I wouldn't get anything for it, and I wouldn't have a house either, so. This had never been mined, they don't say that. It's only been mined underground. There were people living here since the late 1800, and uh, no mining took place, so what are they restoring? You know, they're covering up the mesquites and the yuccas and the century. They're getting rid of all the animals, and they're planting seeds, uh, grass seeds instead. So that's not exactly restoration. So I've been asking what restoration is, and they have never been able to answer that question. And so I really have no choice. And smashing my house apart, trying to salvage what I can. And uh, moving on. I know there's a place for me out there. I don't know where it is yet, but I'm going to recuperate and uh, relax a little bit and visit my family and friends. And uh, maybe I'll find my little niche again where I can have a little house and a little yard and uh, for the rest of my life, maybe stay there for, you know, till this time I'm 72. Anyway, thank you, Allison, <coughs> for recording this.